This Sunday, Cars and Coffee is hosting its monthly car race at the Palm Beach International Raceway. Elaine Larson, a two-time world champion dragster driver, is here in a different capacity. I'm not actually behind the seat today because I'm licensing one of my jet girls, Josette Roach. Um, this girl is 26 years old and she's ready to set this world on fire. Today's all about Josette and it's all about girl power. Well, I feel pretty awesome. So that last pass that I just did was my first full quarter mile pass in a jet track. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. So I went 266 miles per hour. Um, it was awesome. I mean, there's nothing to describe it. Uh, I'm going to make two more passes for a total of three, and then hopefully, uh, if everything works out, I'll have my IHRA jet to car license. The International Hot Rod Association is a drag racing sanctioning body. In the meantime, the jet car is getting ready for the next pass. The person in charge is 21-year-old Logan Ashline. I'm actually crew chiefing for our driver, Josette. Um, what does it mean to be a crew chief? So to be a crew chief means that I'm in charge of the car. So I do everything to the car between runs um, along with the rest of my crew, just making sure everything's good and safe and ready for the next pass. She not only is in charge of the car, but also prepares her teammate Josette for the next pass. Josette is gloved and giving thumbs up to go and off to the starting line. The 2.5 mile all concrete track is super hot. My rubber soles are getting stuck to the surface. And also very, very loud. Nothing prepares you for that. So fast, I can barely keep up. She is christened. Congrats are in order. Josette Roach is a newly licensed jet car driver now. It's been a long time coming. Um, I met the Larsons back in 2017 and I've been trying to figure out a way to get into the seat ever since then and um, just really working for the team is my ultimate end goal anyway. So the just being able to drive the car is the ultimate dream. I never expected to actually get to drive, so it's great. How did you find the this team, Dominator. Um, so I met Elaine actually at tw um, in 2017 at the Gator Nationals and I found out they weren't far from where I was living. So I kept coming and coming and coming to the shop, kind of bothering them like that little gnat. And eventually they were like, oh, well, we guess, guess we got to give her a job. So they gave me a job and um, I do the marketing and make videos and things like that for the team. And now I get to drive a jet car. So how did you come to racing? What did you do before? Um, before racing, I actually worked at a shoe store. Um, I also raced my own cars on the weekends. Um, what do you have? I have um, two Mustangs and I have a, a super comp dragster. So oh, wow. yeah. now I drive your car. Your family is in uh, racing? Yep, my family's in racing. Um, my dad uh, builds cars and works on cars. So that's kind of how we got into it. All of us are car people just because of that. Josette is clearly an inspiration for young fans. Do not give up on your dreams, girls. Anything is possible. And what's next for the team? As soon as Josette finishes up her licensing process, we're going to switch places. She's going to be my crew chief, and I'm going to be her driver. And uh, what's the time frame, approximately? How long does it take to train to be a dragster race car driver? <laughs> So it really depends on um, what we're doing throughout the year, how long this process takes. 
Um, this has taken a little over six months. Maybe in half a year we'll come and cheer for you. <laughs> yes, yeah, hopefully. Um, that's the goal. I'm very excited. So as a Florida Tech student, I'm learning business, um, the business side of things, and then I get to transfer that over with my internship and job at Larson Motorsports. For more information on this Jeff Car Racing team and internship opportunities, visit Larson Motorsports website. From Palm Beach, I'm Jane Greaves.